Hey, you're the one who decided to live here. I... yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Break into the thing? Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Yeah, they fat. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Okay. Sneak in. We fight our way in. Yeah, but they fat. They fat. I think we should sneak in. So I'm gonna go with. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Oh, this choice has significantly changed the story. All right. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Bonerinos. Let's lob one of those bonerinos at them. Or, or not. Well, easy puppies. See? You like bones, right? What do I do with it? That wasn't hard at all. We this didn't even get to throw Stella's the thing. Treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. What are those gold pots? Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. I don't remember her saying that. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. No. Ugh. no matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Yeah, I do. I liked it. I want to do more adventuring. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No, where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Shh, uh -oh. check it out. That's right. It's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Oh yeah, she totally this won't is one see of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. They can take on. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, you, you should not be here. Yeah, that was a hell of a this, performance, there, this lady. Is, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Oh, <laughs> these are all quite good options. Uh... Having a fun time, Stella. Little bit of pretend. Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no. You can have your dumb sword back. 
Thank you. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival. Oh, man. Yeah, you're totally not my rival. I don't care about you, lady. Never even heard of you before. <laughs> she thinks she's on the level of the great Jesse of the Order of the Stone. I don't think so. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Now come and Thank live with so us. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. Is that a stupid heck mouth. Oh, and it's glowing again. What is that? That doesn't sound good. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, there's a bunch of beasts and stuff coming out of it. Sign didn't stop that. What are those? Well, it's a lot of creepers. Oh, and they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. What was that with that rose? That silver? Oh, that bluish sword? I got you covered, Jesse! <laughs> so good to have you back. Where's my badass sword? I need, a, I need something to protect me. Dodger Rooney. Oh no, you don't! Oh, oh big Pachirouski! Oh, big. that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! It's a beautiful uppercut, Jesse. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. Again? Is it really gonna work though? Here we go then. Let's go! There really needs to be something more powerful than dirt, but. I don't know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yes. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh, now it's raining. Lovely. <laughs> See a guy about a Welcome thing. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh, sure, sure. Oh, you don't believe me, huh? I could be cool. You could be cool, Should Pyro. be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him. I know of him. Okay. Let's just find him, then. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's... Kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've I've heard legends of how great he is. Well, you should probably just play it cool. <laughs> hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Story has changed. That's cool. One more searching time, is it? 
Or is this Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium? This has got to be it. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Damn, we're just running in. Maybe we're gonna knock. Damn, this place is pretty cool. Face. The Upper Lowlands, Spider Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. I don't know what any of that means, but okay. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. You're the best. I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh. Well, yeah, of course I do. You're yep. not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Uh, I'm jealous of your love of him. <laughs> Maybe a little. Ah, uh, Jesse, don't be so insecure. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. Push for service. Let's do it. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. Hmm. Huh. Uh. Uh, thanks? I think? You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. <laughs> okay. So cool. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. Ah, cool names. So, what can <laughs> I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. He's scared. I need to go a weird eye. Wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Liar. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-o. Oh, my I, God. That is, uh... uh you just call them daddy -o. Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah. yeah, and it had a slot with like a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. It whispered my name, bro. It was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no. No problem. Who's this fat at? Guys, this is Nerm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? 
I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm... Jack, come on, do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. <laughs> Oh my. Oh wow. It's totally expanding this the map. And that doesn't even look like the final thing. Going by the edges. Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because. I, uh, kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. Come on. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. <laughs> no. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. Well, I don't know what a Sergeo Pass is, but... Stop being I a fatter. I found fat a gauntlet him. just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. But you did. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano, you remember it. I was saying anyway but burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories and thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried so if you're the only one who knows where it is you're yep. gonna take us there without me you never get to that sea temple that knowledge is my curse Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! We convinced him? Norm says yes. Yeah. That sounds to me like a challenge. Oh, now he's ready to rock. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me. And gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? Uh, I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh, she is just... <laughs> oh, yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard. But I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. She's like barking out. I told you, it's not the admin. Mm -hmm. I love now. Oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. It's got you so excited about this one. <laughs> Uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. 
The Vest of Five Fists. Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Okay, Port geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor.